Hello everybody, Jess Nikki here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do recolors on hair and um, the same type kind of method can be uh, done the same way for like uh, shirts and pants and shoes, um, all that stuff. Uh, but today I'm going to be mostly focusing on the hair side of it. So the one thing that you need, or well, there's a couple things you need. You need Photoshop. If you can't afford Photoshop or you don't have Photoshop, there's no way for you to get it. Um, you can use GIMP. I don't know anything about GIMP. I do have it on my computer. I've been trying to learn how to use it, but it's, I've, I haven't really been practicing <laughs> on it. So I don't know anything about GIMP. I am a Photoshop person. Um, so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this on Photoshop. Feel free to find another tutorial that will show you how to do this type of stuff on GIMP. I apologize. Um, and then the next thing you need is Sims 4 Studios. If you guys don't know where to get that, I'm going to put a link in the description box where uh, you can download the Sims 4 Studios. But basically what it is, what Sims 4 Studio is, is it allows you to manipulate meshes or implement your own meshes into the game uh, you'll have to use this uh, or blender but we're not making our own meshes we're not altering any meshes so we're not going to be working with blender or anything this is strictly photoshop and sims 4 studio this is just a recolor so one of the thing one of the hairs uh that i love the most like that i love downloading is by leah lillis she makes some bomb ass hair like it's just so pretty but the only thing is that kind of annoys me about her hair is that she doesn't make like the proper black color of hair i guess i could say um, it's more of like a grayish black color and I like more of the brown black color of hair um, like the more natural looking black brown color and there's a bunch of different hair retextures and recolors and stuff out there um, but if you make your own trust me you'll love it and you just won't stop doing it so the hair in that picture that I showed you is the one we're gonna be working with and recoloring today if you don't know where your mods folder is or if you're new to downloading mods or of any kind um, you basically go to your documents folder and then you should see something that says electronic arts you click on electronic arts uh, double click on that uh, you should see something that says The Sims 4, double click on that, and then there is a mods folder, and that's where your beautiful mods should be. And so this is the hair, it's called Kara hair. So I'm just going to copy this, and we're going to put it in our Sims 4 Studio mods folder. And where your mods, where the mods folder for that is, you go to your documents folder, and you should see something that says Sims 4 Studio. You double click it. And you should see something that says mods and you just paste it in. You should see something that says CAS creates a CAS standalone. Uh, make sure that is checked and then you click on CAS. And up here we're going to change content to custom. And we're just going to look for that hair. Okay, well, I'm not sure why the hair is attached to a male character, but I'm going to choose one of these down below and hope it's to a girl. Um, but the next thing you want to do is make sure that you have a folder named whatever you're going to put your hairs and stuff in. And I have it all, you know, just kind of separated and everything uh, from the different things that I've done. And it's not just hair in here, there's poses and shoes and marvelous designer meshes and um uv maps and all types of stuff in here i need to fix this shit but anyways <laughs> so you're going to name this package and what this package is is it's going to be the name of whatever your package is when you put it out there so i'm gonna just rename this uh recolor i think it was kai car hair yeah her hair and I'm just gonna name it that um, I actually might put YT or yeah uh, just to make sure I differentiate it and then I'm gonna click save
and when you do you should see this okay so this is a girl yay okay so now you see the different uh like hair cards they call these hair cards so if you were ever curious about how they make the hair um they basically make these paper thin uh like shapes uh and then they hand draw or they take pictures of like hair and they put the hair onto the cards that they've laid on the head which is why they're called hair cards uh, so this is the mesh here. You can see the hair um, is kind of like on these beige pieces here. This is actually the cards that you can see. So this is the whole mesh here. Um, and if you're wondering how I'm moving around, I'm using my middle mouse button to zoom in and out. I'm using right click to rotate. And then I'm uh, just, you know, uh, pushing in the middle mouse button to move it freely. So that's what I'm doing here. So once you have this, um, you should see over here, this is the where the hair and stuff is. This is what you're going to be recoloring. Um, so you're just gonna click diffuse and you're going to click export. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in uh, original mesh and I'm gonna call this um, There. It's not really a mesh, but I call it mesh. It's whatever. Um, you can name it whatever you want. And I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to open this picture in Photoshop. Okay, guys. So this is the hair um, that is laid out here. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And so these are the individual hairs that is on the actual uh, mesh. Uh, so there's a lot of little pieces here, which is probably like uh, uh, the baby hairs right here or something. Um, you got to make sure that you keep an eye out for stuff like that because uh, there can be little pieces of hair that you miss and you don't want to miss any of this hair. Um, to find out where the hair is, you can, of course, color this like, uh, let's color it yellow or something. Color it yellow. Sorry. And put it behind here. And then it'll basically show you where all of the hair is. So there's little pieces right here and then these are the main pieces. We want to make sure that we keep an eye out on all the pieces. I'm just going to delete that layer. And let's go ahead and hop into making your own recolor. So what you want to do is you want to click new and you're going to change this to 300 pixels by 700 pixels and hit OK. And make sure it's transparent. Uh, it really doesn't matter though, but make sure it's transparent so i don't know if i want to make the black brown color i was talking about which is right here i just kind of made this one um i think i'm going to show you guys how to make like a natural looking color so for the black brown color we're going to go for a black that looks kind of black like you'll see what i mean when i bring it up like this kind of looks black but it's not like it has like a brownish tinge to it and that's the type of black that I like like a natural black like if the sun hit it it would be a little brown so we're gonna start out with this color and then we're gonna go to filter noise and then add noise and I know this looks confusing you're like what the fuck are you doing trust me it's gonna make sense in a second do not go past 25. That is my recommendation. Of course, you can add as much as you want. I don't want to add too much, so I'm going to stay at 18. Um, but you definitely don't want to go over 25 because that looks weird and it just looks really bad. Um, and then you're going to check, make sure that Gaussian is checked and monochromatic is checked and then hit OK. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a lighter color. This is going to be the highlight of the hair, where the hair kind of shines, where the, when the light hits it sort of thing. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and do this color. And I'm gonna grab a brush. This is just like a normal brush. These are custom brushes here that I've downloaded, but this is just a normal hard round brush. And you're going to make a line across this. And this is going to be the highlight of the hair right here. I think that looks pretty good. Um, so now what you're going to do is you're gonna to go to filter and you're gonna to go to filter gallery. And you're gonna make sure that you have brush strokes open and we're gonna work on sprayed strokes. Make sure that the stroke length and radius are all the way up, like they're max. And if it isn't vertical like this, just drop down the menu and click vertical and then hit okay. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is go to filter and then go to blur and then go to motion blur. And this is what's gonna make the hair, make this look like hair. You know what I might have done? I might have gone a little too brown with the highlight, which is fine because I'm just gonna go back and make it a little bit darker. Actually, no. Um, we might need to use this type of color right here. It's okay if you make mistakes. We're all human. It's okay to make mistakes. So now I'm gonna go to uh, filter gallery and make sure that's checked, hit okay, and then go back to filter, blur, motion blur, and that looks a little bit better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Um, now between like 120 to maybe 180, it looks like hair. It kind of looks like hair for me. This looks better at 122 for me. But of course, it's all up to preference. It's up to what you think looks best. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. This looks really good so far. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this because these lines up here and down here kind of look a little bit funky and we don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and crop it a little bit and then hit enter. And yeah, wow, that looks that looks good so far. Um, it might be a little too brown. It might be more brown than black, but um, that's okay. I like the way this looks. So the next thing you're going to do after you've done this, which is the last part, is um, highlight, or I'm sorry, uh, contour, I guess you would say, the hair. So I'm going to go for a darker color, like here maybe. And I'm gonna add a layer to this. So we're working on a layer two. And I'm just gonna add some darkness uh, in the places of the hair where it would be a little dark. Um, and this might be a little too dark, but let's see. When you do that and you you think you've added the right amount, you just go back to filter, blur, and motion blur. And then you add as much blur as you think it needs. and then hit OK. And of course, if it's too dark, you can mess with the opacity. Um, you can change this normal to maybe hard light, which makes it a lot darker. Maybe soft light? Hmm, nah. There we go. That's good. Well, let me do that a little bit. OK, I think that looks good. I'm happy with this. So let me go ahead and merge these layers together and I'm going to copy this and actually no, I'm going to save this and I'm going to save as a PNG. There we go, swatches. So I'm going to put this in my swatch and I'm just going to name this um, YouTube Black Brown and I'm going to save it in there. And we're going to go back 
to our little mesh picture of the hair here. Now, for this part, um, you're just going to click layer and then new and then layer and you're going to make sure that you check use previous layer as a clipping mask and hit OK. And then you're just going to basically control V or you can just drag in the video or the video, the picture. And this is the hair right here. And as you can see, when you made it a, um, when you put it as a previous, the previous layer as a clipping mask, uh, you basically made it where the colors is only attached to this picture. Uh, I guess if that makes sense. So it's transparent where the hair isn't right. <laughs> if that makes sense. I think that looks good. I think that looks good. So I'm going to save as again as a PNG and I'm going to name this. Let me go back here. Here we go. And I'm going to name this, um, recolor black brown and then hit okay and save it and then I'm going to go back in the Sims 4 studio and I'm going to click on this import button and I'm going to click on the hair oh wait no that's the original hair <laughs> that's the original color oops uh, let's go to recolors there it is and There we go. It's in there. And I think this looks pretty good, but you you really won't know how it looks until you actually put it in the game and you see exactly how it looks to make sure that everything is perfectly fine. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color of this since this has changed. Uh, I'm going to just make it like a color that's kinda similar to whatever it looks like and then I'm going to save and I'm going to select the one I did so I think I called it what YT something yeah there it is okay and I'm going to copy this and I'm going I'm going to paste it there we go and there it is and then you basically just start the game go into Kaz and see if it works and that's what we're gonna do right now do not close any of these things do not close photoshop do not close sims 4 studio don't close anything okay uh because you don't know what it's gonna look like you may need to go in and and fix some things it may look a little wonky you never know um so just keep this stuff open and open the sims 4. all right guys so this is the hair this is our newly colored hair it could be colored a little better that's something that, you know, I can mess with later. But overall, I think this looks pretty cool. Um, the color does need a little bit more shine. Just a tiny bit more shine to it. It is a bit dull. It looks kind of dry. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch needs some moisture in her life, but that's okay. Let's go ahead. Um, let me show you what the hair looked like before. So this is what it looked like here. See, yeah, I was right. So the hair, the highlight is more up, like on this round part of the of the head. Uh, it's higher up, but that's okay. That's something we can fix later. And uh, yeah, I think I did pretty good though. Like, I don't know. Maybe you guys can do better than me. I did show um, like a really old friend how to do this uh, and he did like 10 times better than I did when I showed him. It was actually kind of shocking. But yeah, so this is basically how you make recolors. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. Of course, if you have any like comments, concerns, questions, or anything, you can put them down in the description or in the description box. Can they leave comments in the description box, Nikki? No, the fuck they can't. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> um, leave them down in the comments uh, section below, and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like. If you're new to the channel and you happen to stumble across it, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.